Hey, so let's play Call of Duty or Battle Royale. Today I have downloaded this game a long, long time back, but the Battle Royale was still not out today. I don't know how I saw the notification. I turned into the game, and well, well, here is the Battle Royale of Call of Duty Mobile. I have been a huge fan of the franchise from my childhood. I've played a lot of games, and I hope this game turns out to be one of the best mobile platform based games after PUBG. Okay, so we are here in the game right now and it's going to start. There are, as you can see, six different different things that you can choose. Scout, Clown, Medic, Ninja, Defender, Mechanic. And they have their different perks, you know. Ninja has a grapple hook, like you can just grapple to a place and click it, it will take you there. Medic has kind of a healing station, Defender has a shield going on. So there are different perks to, you know, different uh, things that you're using. The first thing that you get here uh, is a is a knife, actually. So that's a good thing like you get down on the place and you have no gun so you can get a knife and you know play the game. The intro I would say is actually very nice uh, and the helicopter is here basically the one which I'll be on. Um, this is These are the choppers and these boosted ones are from I guess Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You will be able to see one of these in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in the first segment of the game only. Um, you know, uh, and yeah, one more thing is that that uh, red signal that you can see is the uh, what can I how can I describe it? It's the main loot or the main crate that you get. It's basically because in Call of Duty, this game, I I don't see any uh, you know drops from air, air drops or anything like that. It's just like uh, in the middle of a field, there is that uh, you know signal. You gotta go there and kill whatever there is, and you will get a special loot box for which will contain special guns and you know ammunition, armor, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a that's a very nice approach to the you know all uh, all battle royale kind of a feeling and uh, to be honest you know I would say that I played uh, two to three battle royale games like Free Fire, PUBG, and there was this um, I forgot that I played it recently and uh, compared to them I would say this is a really nice addition this is really nice to be honest because it got uh, this uh, realistic PUBG feel with that uh, a bit of a fortnight for the grapple and this helicopters and stuff so it's a you know it's a very good mixture and I can think it can give a tough time to PUBG and Fortnite altogether there is this uh, helicopter as you can see I had a tough time controlling it because uh, I was a bit dumb I didn't really see the controls but as you can see here I'm you know like controlling it very well I don't know how I'll be able to control you know helicopters in real life <laughs> lol but uh, anyways the you know the one of the most uh, interesting thing about this game is that I encountered a, encountered a Cerebrus if you don't know it's from Greek mythology actually what uh, what it is is that it's a it's a demon it's actually a huge dog with three heads uh, you know you may have seen it in Harry Potter and stuff so yeah that's uh, that's the kind of a hell dog hell hound or you can say I encountered I encountered this thing in God of War so basically the uh, you know that uh, red signal you see under it is the main loot and you gotta kill this dog in order to get that loot and then a lot of person you know fighting for that loot anyways so yeah I, I couldn't land the helicopter because god knows what there, there was no space and I was trying a bit dumb in a bit dumb matter to kind of get this helicopter down this game actually is very nice but is a bit choppy I think they will they will get this better in the future this game is still in the beta mode so I can't really say but dude I love it like I mean, you know it's an emotion like I have been an avid Call of Duty player throughout my childhood and to see this game making into reality I mean like dude damn I want to be better in this game, you know. I want to be a pro in this game. I love this game so much. Because, you know, like I never thought Call of Duty would be on a mobile platform and it's just too damn awesome to see this game on a mobile platform. But yeah, the controls need to be, you know, how can I say? They need to be more organized and they need to be, uh, you know, taken care of by the developers team. They need to be a bit more better because in PUBG you get three kind of controls but in this you get two which is automatic fire and professional one. But the screen is divided into, you know, movement and camera which makes it very difficult to control snipers. At least for me it becomes very difficult. But yeah, let's see, you know, the I love the SMG, as you can see, the SMGs, uh, SMG is quite good in killing, man. I mean, I'm able to take down my opponents very faster, as you can see here, I get very, very fast kills. 
didn't use the AKM though or AK-47 I don't know how what will you call this gun didn't really see the name but yeah as you can see uh, there is this guy I do not have a scope on my uh, gun though but yeah you can see the recoil it's quite high like um, I would say this isn't something like uh, Fortnite or something where you don't really get a recoil so yeah you can say that this game is quite good considering the fact that there is recoil in this game so yeah I just can't say that people will come to this game and they'll compare it to Fortnite because basically saying the two things that uh, that you know like uh, can be compared to Fortnite are the parachute and the helicopter because in PUBG you don't get these two these two are I would say if used in a good way are the biggest advantage uh, advantage on your side or the disadvantage on your side because uh, you know like just as I said before the helicopter is very stable so you can take sniper shots from there and now as you can see you know uh, I'm trying to find find SMG bullets I'm out of SMG bullets uh, so yeah let, let's see uh, what can I do so well this guy I thought that this guy was inside the room but he wasn't so yeah like okay he's going up you know, different is that uh, I can see footsteps here, but in the other mode of the game, I was not able to see foot footsteps. I was just seeing red dots, uh, that means the enemy one, and I would say, well, this is a bit easier. The other mode is actually very tough because enemies can come from any side and they'll just kill you, you will keep on respawning. It just doesn't happen in here, so you can see this Cerebrus or the Hellhound isn't really getting hurt because you know whenever you go there and actually you hit it you will see the health bar of it decreasing but as you can see I'm trying to hit it from a distance but the health bar isn't decreasing that means that I'm not able to hit it or you know it just won't let me hit it I guess there is some kind of a rule that you need to get near it it's an implementation of Mr. X in here basically they need they are trying to like uh, you know keep it all together but I guess it's a nice approach like you make it uh, you don't have you know a different uh, side of like a uh, game you just uh, have it in the game only that there is no special drop you, you know like PUBG it's uh, how can I say it's a privilege when you get a drop from that uh, uh, that red crate from that uh, airdrop it becomes a privilege like uh, I would say that's kind of a cheating comparing to this because right now you have to kill a demon you know then you get what you deserve and there will be people coming after it so you literally have to fight the horde of people and also that demon and after that you get this so basically if you get this that means you deserve it and uh, you know but in PUBG it just drops and you go there loot the thing get a higher advantage because the guns are very nice as you can see here the red bar started decreasing as you, yeah, you can see Cerebrus it's name it it it's it's named as Cerebrus uh, sorry for my you know uh, speaking fluency because it's not that good not that good in English learn most of my English from video games and movies so basically you know how, how can I explain and yeah my accent is quite idiotic because I was reviewing my you know like whenever I'm editing this video I'm kind of rewinding my voice notes I can't really go back and change them because that will take a lot of time but yeah I think my you know accent is a bit idiotic and funny a bit more cringy too but please uh, stick, stick with it I'll try to get better in the future anyways so we are in the house trying to find an SMG bullet but I was unable to do it so yeah so I can't find the hellhound. I'm still running, 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 running. I uh, there was this uh, voice in the in game only, but I uh, decided to delete it because there was this uh, guy making a lot of noise and basically you know middle class Bengali guy, mom screaming, cooking, thung thang thung thang, you know. So basically needed to get that voice, uh, you know, deleted from the game. I'm just trying to give you a voice over. So yeah, I'm just running like a. Take it right here. Uh, now, now you will see how the sniper works. Beautiful as fuck. Like seriously beautiful as fuck. So uh, yeah, and now I'll shoot the guy. And it is so nice. The you know recoil is controlled so beautifully. It's not like this. Uh, you know, you hit the head and you just see the moon. You hit the head, you will just end up a bit above on the head. So kind of easy to kill a person. I got some loot from there. And now I'll try to get, uh, but still no SMG bullets. I'm trying to find SMG bullets. There is no 9 mm. Uh, you know the one of the best thing is that uh, if you can see under the map the uh, you know ping is quite low 72 ms it's quite low I get more on PUBG I kind of play on say 80 90 ah he is back he is back but you can see I need to get a bit closer to him uh, there is a cerebrus okay I'm reloading and I'll shoot it shoot at it again and just keep on going a bit back and back and back if you hit, hit the head you know you'll hit it better and you can see there is a, there is this thing my, my gun 
there is this uh, grenade there is a sniper under it you can see uh, is the HP and uh, the white bar which is the health bar and beside the HP on the left you can see my health and armor so yeah it dies it also leaves some kind of stuff behind I guess I haven't really played the game and you know you know tried everything that is in the game so I can't really tell you which are the additional things in here because in the other mode of Call of Duty you can call for air support so it will be really nice to get air support because that can help you in the last round to win basically so you know like because uh, the last round can be somewhere in the open so if you can ca uh, call for an airstrike so you can just wipe your enemies out uh, out of nowhere because you know call of duty in other games where we used to you know board on planes and stuff and kind of uh, you know kill terrorists by launching missile you can actually see the terrorists i guess if you launch an airstrike or something like that the, it will show you that the enemy is there so that is a very huge disadvantage if it's there but damn i i just can't imagine okay so there is this uh, flare drop i guess i don't know where did it come from so yeah this is nice actually there is this flare drop it will give you some guns too guns and bullets so i guess i'm uh, i was wrong about this thing that uh, it's not like pubg i guess you you get uh, drop boxes too but then there is another way of getting uh, special loots so uh, this game is still in beta so you can't really say what they decide to keep and what they decide to not let's see what happens so uh, you know like i'm i'm having quite a good time playing this game but yeah definitely i need to get i need to get better in this game soon enough i will i'm practicing it each and every day each and every time i get my exams are going on right now but look at me i'm playing this game but you know but i can't really deny the fact that i'm not really interested in studying but this game is addictive this is really really addictive like you have played pubg but dude if you love call of duty this takes addictiveness to another level like wow uh, there are three uh, grappling hooks available for me as you can see the right uh, right side the icon has turned purple from blue that means I guess some kind of special power unlocked or something but I haven't used it so I don't know I didn't use it in the game uh, I can I am getting shot at I am getting shot at so I'm just going to run the you know the circle has gotten smaller and smaller I, I, yeah there there you go I got some nine mm bullets nice one I have a sniper you see this game is actually quite tough because you need to keep on you know looking at things and stuff as you can see here there is this uh, you know uh, FPP button right right down my movement button which is on the left there is this uh, FPP written first person you can change it to first person inside the game it's not like you get a third person mode and a first person mode uh, you know in different modes uh, in different games but you can just change it into the same game only I don't know how can I say that it's a uh, I mean you, you know if you get first person so you get a broader view so it's better when you're doing sniping from a distance and uh, under it you can see graphic quality low because my phone is not uh, how would I say that it's not really smooth when it comes to medium though there is this two options only medium and low so I've kept it in low and frame rates at high so that I can play this game a bit smooth smoothly and uh, you know like yeah I'm kind of very very satisfied with the kind of game it is it still needs a lot of development and there I get knocked out I will die because my teammates are <sighs> dude I can't even give a slang here but yeah those fuckers won't come and save me so yeah I'm going to die I was screaming like by help kar de help kar de but it didn't come and yeah this is where I die so basically that what happens he will go for the loot and will get knocked out soon enough after me so there were people actually uh, there but there you go he is going to kill them as you can see the number four is walking by teammates can revive you but they didn't I'm going to observe my mate here he is shooting so yeah this guy is dumb actually he's shooting there with a gun with a rifle and gets knocked out wow so damn smart like you could just shoot the person in front of you but you didn't anyways thanks for watching the video do subscribe to my channel for more videos and like